All right, so we're gonna do a four view knee. We already have our patient on the table. We'll pretend he changed. He is who he says he is. He is not pregnant. The technique on here is set at 80. It should be 80 at four. We're on large focal spot because we'll be in the buggy. So we're at 80 at 3.8 right now. We'll bring the IR in. And this would be, um, if this is obviously it's digital, we're just pretending it's retrofitted. So we are in the bucky. We're at 40 inches SID to the bucky. We're in D10. And what we have to do for a knee, first thing I'm going to do is measure him from ACES to tabletop to see what way we're going to actually angle <clears throat> the tube because ACES to tabletop measurement determines if you're angling caudal, no angle, or angling cephalic. And if you're angling cephalic or caudal, it's gonna be three to five degrees, totally dependent on what he measures. So ACES is right here, calipers are right down on that. And then we read these from the bottom, which he's just right at about 16. And we have the mat in there, which adds a little bit to it, but anything below 19, we would angle three to five degrees caudal. So I'm gonna angle that caudal, which means towards the feet. And then since we're in the bucket, I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. I'm gonna have you move over to your left just a smidge. Good. And Ideally in the field, I probably would have their shoe off just because it's um, gonna interfere with the mat, but for these purposes, it's okay. I'm just gonna roll that up, my hands are cold. And on this one, it says that, like most people when they lay comfortably, their leg is not usually straight. It says in order to get a true AP, you kinda wanna internally rotate the foot or the whole leg three to five degrees medial. You're basically looking to get the top of the knee completely AP. Ankle would be AP, everything in line. And then we're gonna, so we're angled, we're aligned to the bucky. We're gonna find apex. This is the base of the apex. I'm sorry, this is the base of the patella. This is the apex of the patella right here. And central ray is one half inch distal to the apex, center of the knee. So actually that looks pretty good. I'm collimated to a 10 by 12 portrait or lengthwise. This is his right knee. And again, I'm gonna put the marker lateral to the part. I could collimate side to side, but I'm comfortable leaving it like that. Um, if I was in the field, I probably would come in a little bit. But just since we said 10 by 12, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Again, apex, half an inch distal to the apex. In midline, if you look just at this line, it's coming right down the middle of his leg and the middle of his knee. All right, we're gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna shield him. Just like that. Good, hold still right there. I'm set at 80 at 3.8. Just hold still right there. Yep. Good, you can relax. I'm gonna take the angle off my tube and go to zero. And then I move the tube, so I have to move the bucky and realign the tube. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is my 45 degree medial rotation. So from AP, I'm just gonna internally rotate his knee. So the, <clears throat> the interepicondylar line forms a 45 degree angle with the plane of the IR. I'm looking at that, I'm gonna rotate a little bit more, probably right there. So you have your fingers on their um, epicondyles and you kind of just roll it so that it's at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm gonna move this. Central ray is still at the level of a half inch distal to the apex, which is right here. And then still middle of the knee. Okay, so I'm looking at middle of his knee, but a half an inch distal to the apex. Move that in just a smidge. All right, hold still just like that. Same technique. 
Baby, come relax. And then we're gonna take his leg and go 45 degree lateral rotation. Same thing, you're gonna palpate and make sure this forms a 45 degree angle with the plane of the IR right back here. Remember a perfectly positioned lat oblique would have the patella half on, half off the femur. I'm gonna find apex again, half an inch distal to that, which I'm at that level. And then midway on the leg, which I kind of like that. Middle of the leg. Good, marker. Just like that. There's a 45 degree lateral of leg. You can relax. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll you towards me. Turn your hips a little bit. Put your leg on its side. We're gonna bend your knee slightly. Good, roll your hip a little bit more. Good, and just kind of bring this leg up. There you go. And now on a lateral knee, we're angling five to seven cephalic. So I move the two. All right, so on a lateral, <clears throat> what you're looking for is the patellar surface to be perpendicular. Right now, this surface is not perpendicular. You can see my fingers. Um, that's not. So what I need them to do is roll towards me with your hips a little more. Keep rolling. That's funny. <laughs> well, turn your hips towards me. Can you bring that leg out of the way? All right, so now the patellar surface, like if you were to look from up above, the surface of this patella is perpendicular to the IR, which is what we want. The hardest part is gonna be watching that knee, but keeping him like this and shielding him all at the same time. I'll let you hold that there, patient. Got it. Okay, just like that, central ray, is on the medial epicondyle, which is right here, coming towards you. Okay, right there, medial epicondyle. Marker, I'm gonna bring it. Still want the middle of the knee. Epicondyle's right here, so it's a little, it's like right here, but I wanna make sure I have equal light front and back. So epicondyle here. I like that. Shielded angle five to seven cephalic. Same technique. Bucky's aligned. Hold still like that for me. Good. You can relax. Okay. The only thing I want to caution you guys, sometimes Tex will have you bring this leg over. Tex will tell you to roll that knee over. Now, when okay. he, <laughs> when he good? When he did that, he did not move. His patella is still um, perpendicular. The problem is most people with hips, especially women, when they do that, it's going to over-rotate and turn the leg so that it's over-rotated. He, he didn't, which is fine. I probably could have done that with him because this is what you're trying to maintain. Most people can't maintain that when they um, get into their sexy kitten pose. All right. What was that position again? doing it. The sexy kitten. Oh, very funny. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Lay back on your back for me. You okay. can stop. 